Melinda Messenger reached out to some local heroes who saved her after she got herself lost in the woods while on a walk. Melinda Messenger, 50, revealed she had to be saved during a walk in the woods after she got herself totally lost. A scary situation to be in, the TV presenter and former Page 3 model took to social media to thank those who came to her rescue. Posting a heartfelt message on Twitter hoping it would reach those who helped her. She wrote, thank you to Robbie and the two other kind people, who helped me find the way out the woods yesterday, she began. She jokingly added, literally not metaphically, sick. As fans started to wonder what she meant, she went on to explain, I got lost on my walk, people are kind, and it's lovely to see. Melinda quickly followed up with a separate post to apologize for the typo. Metaphorically but you know I meant that, she laughed. Luckily. The man she named came across the post and responded to her gratitude. Hi Melinda I did not realize it was you until later, always help lost ladies in the woods, he pinned with a wink face. Hope it was the correct car park, now I have a nagging feeling it was not. Should have made sure before I left, sorry. Robbie. But the TV star reassured him that it was, as other fans took to the comments section to share their relief that she found her way back safely. Ha ha that's so funny, sure there is a blonde joke in there somewhere. If you go down to the woods today, dot but glad you survived, one giggled. While another joked, are you making a sequel to Blair Witch? Earlier this year, Melinda opened up on her relationship with her ex-husband, Welshman Wayne Roberts, nine years after their split. The Cowboy Builders presenter revealed that despite having separate lives, Her ex-husband is still very much part of the family. She said, we have a good relationship and we prioritize the kids and their well-being. We are still their mom and dad no matter what. Melissa continued, Wayne has his life down in Devon and I have mine here, but we will always be in one another's lives because of our children.